year, Violet Desmond Day comes just shortly after Black History Month. So it feels like it's just an extension of that month. And we get to spend some extra time together this year celebrate, celebrating black history. So meaningful for us to uh, be able to commemorate Jean Augustine. And she was the woman who brought Black History Month to Canada. Canadians have always celebrated Black History Month, but technically it is not officially on the legislative books. My mother made this happen. I would like to personally congratulate you on behalf of my mother, who cannot be here this evening. I, I really appreciate this award. Uh, this is the first award I've ever received in my entire academic career, and I've been here for a while. Yeah, and we have to listen to this. Listening to CJ talking about her mother, I'm, I'm really honored that this is in her name. I, you know, this is incredible, incredible accomplishments. I can speak and be heard every day of my life. They cut it. Push. We had to push. What if we did it? and gave up. It was really nice. I never really thought much of the community work that I did. Obviously, I, I, it's important to me, but I never thought other people thought much of the community work that I do. So it was nice to be recognized, and um, it's been a little bit of an overwhelming experience. Everything that I do now is because of the work that I've done at TriMentoring, and I, I started off as a mentee in first year, you know what I mean? Just the typical first year student, um, and then second year I was a volunteer mentor. Fourth year I am now a first generation ambassador um, with still with the tri mentoring program. So I think it's the tri mentoring program. And they are the ones that inspired me to kind of take what they've taught me into my community and try to build more programs like it. To be awarded with a name that's as powerful and strong as hers, it was kind of like whoa, <laughs> without, for lack of better expression. Um, it means a lot to be considered to even be near a category that contains a woman like her. I think it's very important to have these types of awards and I think it just shows that, you know, the times of Viola Desmond and that kind of work that she did aren't over. You know, we've come so far but we're not done. You know what I mean? So I'm happy to see all the women that were here and that were awarded pushing forward. I feel very blessed to be able to teach Caribbean studies here. That's very, very meaningful to me that Ryerson has given me the space to uh, teach something that I love and something that I feel is very important, um, not only for Caribbean students and Caribbean community, but for a lot of other students who are looking for a kind of representative kind of academic setting where we can talk about things like colonialism, neocolonialism, marginalization, racism, and these kinds of things. So that's been very, very positive for me. Um, I've also been able to talk about a lot of controversial subjects in the classes that I teach. So again, challenging people, challenging the paradigms, um, trying to deconstruct the sort of realities that a lot of people take for granted. So I do that, try to do that kind of political work in the classroom. I try to get students to think about injustice period. So not only racism, but other forms of injustice as well. So in all the classes that I teach, I teach from a critical perspective, which is critical of, you know, I want students to be critical of the society around them, critical of themselves too, in ways that they might be um, blind to some of their own prejudices, for example. There's some, I'm sure, who grit their teeth <laughs> in my class, um, but in many cases, sometimes those students are the ones that come back later and say, you know, I, I was I re you really challenged me, but I'm glad you did. I don't think it's enough that we have only an award for black women in this institution, because really this is the only award that we have that recognizes racialized people. And I think we have to have many more awards that honor those of us that experience racism in the academy, because that's, uh, at Ryerson, that's a large population. We have a very diverse campus. I think Ryerson has shaped me like completely. Ryerson is this amazing, I don't even want to call it a university because I think that is limiting its scope. It's, it's a university, it's a family, you know, it's a safe space, it's, it's a medical center, it's a career center. It's everything that you need to become the person that you want to be.